What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on the channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. Well, shout out to Splinter Cards because they have a new uh, land section here, which has been revamped from what was there previously, and now includes a distribution uh, as well as rich list. So we'll, we'll, we'll pop over to the rich list first because we're not going to spend much time there. But you can see all the different keeps, uh, the top 100 surveyed, unsurveyed, all the different things. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I'm excited to see this hopefully get expanded out as land itself gets expanded out. But there is a distribution page, which is really important because it shows how many lands have been surveyed versus unsurveyed versus unclaimed. Uh, and unclaimed means it's still like a plot, you know, plot token that's sitting on <laughs> Hive Engine, for example, or on Wax. So you can see the full breakdown here. And maybe, uh, you know, for the purposes of this video, I'm not actually getting into all of the different kinds of, you know, magic fire, earth, water, or all of the different uh, elements, or elements as well as different land types. What I mainly want to focus on is the fact that this is the amount surveyed. We are closing in on almost 90,000 out of the 150,000 plots, and almost 60% of them have been surveyed. So where does that leave us with tomorrow? I'm recording this on Monday, the 10th of April. Um, and so where does that leave us with tomorrow as during the maintenance window, we will start or we will move uh, from all land getting SPS airdrop to them to only surveyed land. So this is going to be significant in terms of the amount that's that's essentially cut down. And we can get, uh, you know, we can get an idea of how much SPS that's going to be as opposed to what we were getting before. I think it was like 1.3 SPS per um, 1.3 SPS per land plot. So let me go ahead. I'll bust out the calculator here and I want to try and be as exact as possible. So 6.25 million is what was set aside in the white paper. But this did go live in December and it reduces by 1% per month. So I'm going to multiply it by 0.99. So we started in, in December. So one month would have been January, February is second third is march so we're in april right now uh but i'll leave it at, i'll leave it at this maybe it hasn't shifted over yet if it did wh whatever it's fine so we're at we're roughly at 6.06 .06 million per month uh let's divide that by 30 days and then we're going to take the entirety right and multiply or divide it just by the 89,125. now i do think we're going to start seeing more surveyed uh, over the next couple of days so i'm just going to round this up to 90,000. and what we get is 2.24 sps airdropped per day which is pretty good which is pretty good um now again you might be thinking 2.24 sps that's like not that great right sure but compared to the 1.3 we were getting before we're actually up 72 percent so you're going to get be getting an increase of 73 percent of the amount of sps that you're getting now obviously that will start to decrease over time as more land gets claimed and surveyed but ultimately uh you know it's it's gonna be it's gonna be nice to be early that's all that's all i'm gonna say now i only have three plots so i'm looking at this and being like yay i go from like getting you know four three four sps per day to six six or seven so again i get it maybe you know it's it's not that much to be excited about but it is you know i in my initial video covering this and it was that was pure speculation i tried to provide as much data as possible and and, and use uh very conservative assumptions i thought the increase was only going to be 25 percent, right i said probably around the 25 percent range so to see it almost 3x uh in terms of the increase to the the SPS that we're getting, I think is pretty cool. Now, obviously, who's benefiting from this? Mostly, it's going to be like large landholders, specifically region and tract holders. But ultimately, you know, we're all getting a little bit more SPS for participating in game, and that is the most important thing. So, you know, congrats to everybody who has surveyed your land. I hope you got something that you wanted, or if you haven't yet. Uh, Best of luck. <laughs> Best of luck on any future surveys and claims that you do. Um, but that is all I really have in this video. So uh, once again, shout out to Splinter Cards and um, you know go go check them out and get, show them some support. This is a great tool that I cannot wait to dive further into to see once you know once more land is surveyed, uh, we can start to see where things are at overall. But um, yeah, other than that, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.